Here is a packet of Fairtrade coffee. But what is a Fairtrade supply chain? Firstly, we have a producer from a developing country situated in the south. We, the producers, are the basis of the value chain. The product is then bought for a fair price by a company who distributes it, often in the West. So in the whole supply chain, uh, we from Baca are the one who are marketing, selling the product under our own brand. And uh, we also have the Fairtrade label on it. So for us, it's very important to explain to our consumers where the product comes from. And not only where the product comes from, but also what are all the, the sustainability impact that the, this product has when we sell it to the consumer. This trade is recognised by independent labels, which validate the ethical claims with regards to the economic, social and environmental conditions. These are the labels. A label is a kind of system of guarantee uh, which um, is based on standards, standards for producers but also for the different actors of the economic chains. And in this economic chains we of course work with companies which have their own brands and they build their confidence on the values of our own label. And this label and this system is uh, certified by um, a third actor which is a, a certifier, in our case a certifier is FlowCert, which is totally independent of uh, our system. At the end of the chain, the consumer can buy the product with complete confidence. As a consumer, I buy fair trade because I very much believe in the exchange of my money for goods that will ultimately help a better society for the community that produce those goods. The label for me is very important. It gives me a sense of security that the money I exchange is going to go to the producers of those goods in that community. I think there's a lack of communication. So for me, the question really is, I buy the label, I support the producer, but what happens at that point? But the consumer wishes to have deeper knowledge and more information on the producer. Welcome to GeoFair Trade. By using your smartphone, this interactive tool allows you to verify the origin of the product and access valuable information about the producer's organisations. You can also get information on the brand and its relationship with the producer. Thanks to a virtual visit, you'll discover the geographic environment and the agricultural methods used, allowing a better understanding of the organisation of the land and the origin of the product. GeoFair Trade is conceived as a tool for all actors in the fair trade supply chain. During several months, the GeoFair Trade team has collected a huge amount of information in the field. A production evaluation tool has then been developed on the basis of five major criteria. There are two objectives to inform the consumer and to bring expertise to local producer organisations on production methods, aiming to improve efficiency. The Geofairtrade concept has been tested on the ground in three continents with six different producer groups representing all sorts of uh, products and including a handmade product as well uh, in order to see if it really works for the producer. Through a project like this, technically, Mpanga can be able to share the story of the producer and the environment and the work it's doing and the beauty of the tea that it's doing and also in addition to that, the great thing is through the management information it's been able to collect or analyze under this project, then it can improve on its productivity, can improve on aspects of cost control and the profitability of the product it does. It's been able to process a, 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 and market its information more effectively so the amount of number of people, for example, trained in a year, the amount of made tea, the efficiency of its wood fuel production, 
the GeoFairTrade project helped us a lot in, the in our management. Now we have the coordinates of all the farmers. In the Google map, we have been able to identify or we, uh, we have been able to mark all the farmlands accurately. This all made this uh, possible only because of this project. The Geofair Trade Project allows us as a producer organisation to identify our strong and our weak points. This helps us to correct what does not work. The project has to date been a great development tool, allowing us to speed up the development of our organisation and bringing us more transparency for producers and also for consumers. It has been an enormous amount of work. At first, the practitioners, us fair trade practitioners, had to get together with these, these techie guys. We didn't talk the same language. It's taken hours of work putting the two people together, finding a common language, finding out how to work together, putting that together with the information from the EU on sustainable development, and putting it all into this huge database and re resolving something which is simple, usable, and uh, suitable and appropriate for the market. This has been the right project at the right time. Fairtrade is really delivering in terms of the producers and their lives and that story needs to get out for people. People need to know about that and I've got really great hopes for Geofairtrade and its delivery of communication messages around the world in the future. Transparency for the consumers, development tool for the producer organisations. Geofairtrade is the tool of tomorrow for all the actors of the fair trade chain.